SBI Mauritius Limited, une filiale de la State Bank of India, est un acteur stable et fort dans le paysage bancaire de l'île Maurice avec l'ambition de devenir un acteur à long terme de l'économie mauricienne. SBI Mauritius Limited est présente sur notre belle île depuis 1989 sous le nom de la SBI International Mauritius Limited et se concentre sur les activités bancaires internationales. Qui d'autre pour parler de la banque que son directeur général et chief executive officer, M. Soudia Sharma? Stand is SBI established in Mauritius and what is the strategy for the next five years? Yeah, SBI Mauritius has started its business in 1989. We started with offshore banking. 2004-05, we acquired a bank, IOIB, and after that, we started into retail. And the bank has actually progressed a lot in, uh, in growth of local corporate and retail business in uh, past uh, couple of years. And uh, we have a strategy to enter into Africa through Mauritius. And uh, we have done a strategy meet with PwC on this. And uh, because of COVID, you know, it has been delayed for, for a couple of years. We are still exploring possibilities. We have started financing financial institutions based in Africa. And uh, very soon we will be participating in, in large syndications uh, related to Africa business. Uh, very good. SBIML is engaging more and more in digital pathway. Tell us more about this. Yeah, last year we opened a Yono digital branch where uh, where uh, entire business is done in a paperless manner. Uh, we have uh, recyclers where cash can be deposited or cash can be withdrawn by the customers and no manual banking work is done. Entire work is done in a digital way and uh, we personally feel that uh, that in, in a decade's time uh, the banks, uh, the brick and mortar system or the bank branches will not exist. Everything will be in a very very digital way. So we are also uh, promoting uh, our uh, digital app you know, internet banking debit card related transactions and uh, we, we, we are geared to become a full fledged digital bank in the times to come. Very good. As per the financial statement of the last three years, we witnessed a considerable growth in profit and whether it is sustainable for the years to come, is it sustainable? Yes. SPI Mauritius always has uh, had the capacity of generating operating profit to the tune of 12 to 15 million per year US uh, dollars. Uh, we actually had uh, some stressed asset in our portfolio where we had to make uh, use provisions in past uh, few years. Uh, however, from March 20, we had a profit of around say 1.3 million US dollar, which improved to 5. Uh, 5.5 uh, in uh, 2021 and last year we had 12.6 million dollar because the provision requirement has reduced drastically so i am uh, i'm sure that uh, the bank is poised to to be to attain a profitability of uh, 15 million us dollar in the current year uh, which is considered sustainable because our average advances have grown by almost us 100 million on yoy basis so since the loan book has gone up and the cost of deposit has remained lower we, I'm pretty sure that uh, the bank will continue to have this kind of uh, uh, growth in profit and business. So the model is sustainable. How are you ensuring that investors retain their trust in your bank? Yeah, we have 96% holding by the parent and around 3.5% holding in, in retail segment. Our plan is that in next five years, we go for listing of the bank in a local stock exchange. Thereafter, uh, to increase the value of stakeholders, we propose to come out with an IPO. And uh, if a bank which is growing at the rate of uh, more than 15 to 20 percent in terms of business, in terms of profit, we have doubled in last two years. So I, I'm, I'm sure that investors will show much more confidence and their investment in the bank is likely to increase in the, in the next five years. Yes, after COVID the pandemic, global economy faces inflation and recession fears among major economies coupled with Russia, Ukraine crisis. What are the immediate challenges for the banking sector in Mauritius? Banking sector, there could be some stress in asset because of the global inflation which, which all the countries are facing. 
US we have seen the inflation is all time high maybe in last four decades they have not seen such high inflation in our uh, in countries like India or any other country Europe UK everywhere the inflation is very very high so we have we cannot insulate the economy from rising inflation because it's an import bound economy what we have to see that uh, we have continuous flow of tourists and our income from the GBC portfolio continues to grow and after exiting FATF I am of the opinion that the business which routes through Mauritius the GBC business that is likely to increase further and similarly the the inflow of tourists has has improved significantly in past six months we have seen now the occupancy level is in the range of 80 85 percent so if the inflow of dollars remain quite uh, normal as pre-covid situation I am sure that we will we will be able to withstand the inflation. The, the government and Bank of Mauritius have taken certain steps to to reduce the domestic inflation. And uh, domestic inflation, we must appreciate that the government has contained it to a great extent. And uh, this is how the economy can insulate itself to to some extent from the rising prices globally. GDP of Mauritius for 2021 was at 5.5%. And the forecast is between 7 to 8 percent for 2022. What do you think the actual growth will be? Yeah, I'm, I think that the forecast uh, the government is likely to achieve. We have seen some of the economies like India is doing very well despite COVID, uh, the production, the, the, you know, the GDP etc. Is, uh, is showing good progress. China also it is likely to improve once they come out of the zero COVID strategy. And uh, most of the economies because they are uh, they are containing inflation, slight uh, uh, deviation is there from the growth path because they are fighting with inflation. But uh, uh, once uh, maybe by, by end of June 2023, most of the nations will be able to control inflation and again they will be on the growth path. Mauritius is poised to attain a GDP of 7 to 8 percent with uh, with inflow of tourists, with uh, increase in GBC component and uh, there may be some more investment coming in. Uh, some of the delegations we have seen EDB is taking to various countries to bring new investors and that is likely to infuse uh, a fresh energy to the investment scenario of the country. Yes, as per the national budget, the finance minister announced that the BOM to ensure that bank account can be opened within a week for individual or business. What is your view yeah, about this? It was quite surprising to me because uh, banks should not take uh, undue, undue long time in opening an account. Once all the KYC documents or the paper related to account opening, be it savings bank or a current account or business account, once we receive all the papers, uh, there should be a turnaround time which should be reasonable and uh, seven days time limit uh, is considered adequate for opening of account. In fact, we have onboarded almost 3000 new account in the current year starting from April. In last four months, we have added almost 3000 new customer accounts. And uh, our endeavor at our bank level, we open account within 24 to 48 hours once the branches receive uh, all complete documents. And uh, the proposal is uh, we have centralized uh, the account opening process at head office level and we ensure that the account should be opened within two days so that we remain compliant with the, with the regulatory guideline of opening an account within seven days. Okay, thank you very much for your time. That was very nice.